Hi guys, so today I thought I would just do a quick video on how I depot my lipsticks. So I've got a whole range of different type of lipsticks and um, so when I'm showing my lipsticks to my clients, it's always easier if I depot them. And here's an example here of one that I've done. So here, it's just a, um, this is a full lipstick as well that just fit into these little um, containers. And I always just take the sticker off the back of the lipstick and pop it on the bottom of the jar. So you always know which one it is. You, you don't have to do that. I had a lipstick that didn't actually have a sticker. It was printed onto the lipstick. So I just got a little um, sticky note and I wrote down the, the lipstick and what it was. So when you depot these lipsticks, I'm going to use the heat method. And it doesn't wreck the lipsticks in any sort of way. I've got another one here that um, still has its gloss in it. If I can actually find that lipstick. There it is there. So it's the L'Oreal Intense Fusia. And that one does have um, quite a bit of uh, sparkle and glitter in it. So once they set again, um, they do still maintain that glitter and shimmer. So these are the things that you'll need. Okay, so what you'll need is just a spoon. I use a tablespoon because I do a whole lipstick at a time. I also use my spatula. I got this spatula from Crown just to cut the lipstick in half and put it in. And then my little containers. You can use whatever containers you want. I picked these containers up from eBay for $4.10 and the postage was free. Uh, I'm pretty sure they came from like Hong Kong or something like that. So I actually got a whole tray of them as you can see I got two trays for um, four dollars unfortunately they did get a little bit cracked as you can see the top is cracked but that doesn't bother me honestly I just yeah it's not affecting the actual jars so and I only had one bad jar and it was the first one that I did and it actually seeped right through the back and just leaked out it must have had a small crack in it but I haven't had any problems since. So obviously you'll then need a lipstick. I'm just going to use this Jordana one. And a candle. So I'm just using a candle that I've got at home. It's burnt right down. So I can just sit my spoon on top. And that's pretty much all you need. I've also got a bit of towel roll. You can use makeup wipes if you want. So I pretty much just get my lipstick. The first thing I do is usually peel the sticker off. Which is a pretty easy process. So I just use my nail. And very gently peel it back and it comes off quite easily some of them you have to be really really gentle with and they do tear a little bit so you just gotta yeah be gentle and then I just stick it on the bottom easy so then I get my lipstick and I turn it right as far as it can go and then I will take my spatula and I'll just basically cut it at the at the end So as you can see, we've got the lipstick on there and a little bit in the bottom. I usually get the little bit out of that, but I'll do that in the next step. So put that aside. I'm going to be just going to light my candle. And I'm going to let that burn just a little bit, as you can see. Um, I'm going to pop it onto the side and just lift my camera up and then hopefully you will see the process. So as you can see, I'm just lowering my spoon over the candle and just holding it there until it melts. It doesn't take very long, you'll see it will start to melt fairly quickly. So I just go through that process. So this is just the way that I do it. When when you like I said when you melt these lipsticks down, they do once they set again, they do go back to their normal state. It doesn't um, wreck them in, in in any sort of way. 
and some of the lipsticks smell so nice when you melt them down others don't others others aren't very nice smelling but the Revlon ones don't seem to be a very nice smelling lipstick okay so as you can see it's pretty much melted right down and then just very very gently and carefully I just tip it into the jar and then I just wait for it to finish dripping off So once I've done that little bit, I'll usually then go back and get my lipstick and I just pop my spatula in the side and I just turn it a little bit and pop the rest out. Now I tend to leave the remaining bits in there and that's what I usually use for myself. So I would then um, just keep them in my own personal makeup drawer and use a makeup, a, a lip brush and um, apply those to myself. So, and I, um, I'm not fussed if I don't know the particular name of the lipstick for myself. So then I just repeat the process again. I'll just scrape off as much of the product as I can and then go through the melting process once more. So another trick that you can do, um, if you're just doing this personally for yourself, don't be afraid to mix and match your lipsticks. You can actually melt two lipsticks together to create another color. You can do this with eyeshadows, you can do it with blush, you can do it with pretty much any type of makeup and um, yeah it's perfect for lipsticks you can add as much or as less color as you want for intensity and yeah it's, it's a great little thing to do if you want to experiment with different colors so as you can see that's melted quite quickly mm -hmm. okay now I'm just going to tip the rest in and like I said I pretty much find you can see that's pretty much filled to the rim so it, these little containers do hold usually a full lipstick which is perfect I'm gonna leave a link to where I got these particular containers but like I said the top was cracked and I did have one jar that was damaged as well but I got two lots so so I got 12 in each container so 24 little jars for four dollars ten so I can't really complain so I'm just gonna let that drip off there we go so that's pretty much it guys that's how I depop my lipsticks I then just continue I then pop these to the side and they only take about I don't know about five ten minutes to dry then I just use a bit of towel roll and I clean off my spatula ready for the next lipstick so pretty easily wiped off and with the spoon you can either let that set and then scrape off the remaining and pop it back into your little container if you like or I honestly I don't really bother I just get my towel roll and I wipe it off and it's pretty it comes off pretty easily I'm just going to move my spatula so you guys can see and I've got the little jar there so I'm just going to wipe off be careful because the spoon does get hot but it wipes clean it wipes it very very clean and that's pretty much it guys that's how I depot my lipsticks and these are the ones that I've done so far I'm still in the process of doing some more and I love the little tray that it comes in I'm pretty sure these ones would click together if you wanted them to I'm pretty sure mm, no they don't they're not that type so these aren't the type that you can clip together they just sit in their little tray like that okay I hope this helped some peeps out there and I will talk to you soon bye